Hello, hello. Welcome back. We're on lesson 17. Getting crazy. Making some real progress. Everything going okay? I'm assuming you said yes. It's going fantastic and things couldn't be better. And I volunteer to wash dishes for my mom and rub my dad's feet. That's what I, th I thought I heard you say. Okay. All right. Well, let's look at area of rectangles. What is, it? What is area? It's like area is how much space something covers, basically. With a rectangle, all you do, well, let's actually look at an actual rectangle here, a better looking one than mine, which is pretty lame. Okay. There is a rectangle. Pretend this is uh, your, mm, I don't know, let's say it's your bedroom. No, let's say it's your prison cell. You didn't do the dishes, so your mom sent you to jail. There's your bed. Oh, I don't know. What else is important? Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna, there we go, and here you go there, and you know, okay, and there we go. Oh, that's the important thing about that. There we go. This is your little prison cell. Okay. Well, how many square feet are in this thing? Well, the, what is a square foot? It's just a square you make by going one foot this way and one foot that way. Okay. The reason they call it square feet is two dimensions. So sometimes you'll see you'll see this. Oh, you know, one square foot you'll have a little by it. What that means is it goes in two dimensions, this way and that way. Now eventually we'll get to cubic feet, which will have a little three by it, which means it goes this way, this way, and like 3D. It goes this way, that way, and then like a cube. So anyhow. All right, so how many squares are in your, set, your bedroom, your private uh, room here? Okay, well you can look this and go, okay, well here's a foot over, and here's another foot over. So in other words, Oh, I, I did that completely wrong. Oh boy, we're gonna lose a little, all our amenities. Okay, so here's the four. Obviously this is not exactly right, so. Boop. Let's break this up into threes. Oh, those are lovely squares. Okay, anyhow. Well, you can tell how many square feet are in that thing. At some point, somebody in the past went, wait a minute, that's how many square feet are in something. All you need to do is you need to take how long this rectangle is and how wide it is and multiply those together and that's how many squares you got. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three times four, twelve. There we go. Okay? That's all you need to do. So that's that's how you find area of a rectangle is just the length times the width. Okay? So I'll ask you, how many one inch square tiles would it take to cover this figure? Well, a lot. <laughs> okay, since there you're looking at one inch square, not feet anymore. So the one inch squares are gonna look like this, you know, really small. Like like that. Well, if there's 36 in one, you know, the length of this, there's going to be 36 tiles going all the way across to the very end. But there aren't just 36. There are 24 rows of those things. So you're going to take 36 and multiply by 24. You're going to get 864. That's how many one-inch square tiles it would take to cover that entire thing. Okay. All right. Here's another one. You'll see these a lot this year. Find the area of this figure in square centimeters. Dimensions are in centimeters. All angles are right angles. That will allow us to find out missing sides, okay, if we need to. And a lot of times we will need to. Okay, so let's find the area of this. Now, first off, this thing looks kind of funky compared to the ones we've done before, right? This is not just a simple rectangle. So we're going to have to do some cutting and slicing here. What we want to do is to chop this hunk into two hunks. You can do it either way. Either you can go, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like chop it into two pieces like this, and then I'm gonna find this, and I'm gonna find this, and then add them together, and that'll be my area. Or, either way is fine. You can go like this. You can go, I'm gonna chop it into two pieces like that. Ugh, that's not even close to being right. But anyway, you see what I'm saying. Chop it into here, and then into there. So in fact, you know what, since I've already done that, let's just go ahead and do that. So right here, I've got this, this uh, rectangle right here, and it looks like if I'm going straight across here, this thing is four by four, which means there will be 16 square centimeters in this area. All right down here, this is two, uh, two inches, or excuse me, two centimeters wide and 12 centimeters long. So how many total will be in there? Well, that would be two rows of 12. Two times 12 is 24, and that'll be 40. So we know the answer is 40. Now, let's just pretend some, like you didn't do it that way, and you did it this way. Instead, you went up and down. Well, that's fine. You can look at this part right here and go, okay, well, this thing is six 
And then this thing is 4. 6 times 4 is 24. All right? Now, you know this is 2. The question is, how long is it from here all the way to here? Well, this entire thing is 12. If you chop off the 4 over here, that means this will be 8, right? Okay, so this right here will be 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16. And, of course, if you notice, same thing we just got a second ago, 40. So there we go. Okay. All right, that's how you find the area of those kind of figures. So look on page 62. These are the problems. Look on page 62. Pause it, and let's knock those three out and see what you get and come together when you're ready. Okay, let's take a look at these, the area. Okay, well, I don't know. Let's just start chopping here. I'll chop down this time. You might have chopped across. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, let's see here. This is two by two, but it looks like this is also two here, which means it's two length from there to there, which means the entire length of this will be two here, and then since that's two, two there. So this part here is two by four, or eight. Okay, now that we have two here, we don't know how, what this is right there, but we know that this entire thing is four across, and that this is two, so that means that this is two, because it's just a subtraction. So two by two, is 4. So the entire area of this is 12. All right, B, this is a little odd. Okay, I would probably have to chop this into maybe three pieces to do this, which you might have already done. This part looks pretty simple, right? That's 2 by 4. That'll be 8 right there. This part right here, we can't quite figure this out yet, right? We can't say 3 by 3 because it's longer than that. It's not just 3. But if we look across here, we can go, oh, wait a minute. This is 4, so this is going to be 4 as well. So this part is 3 times 4, or 12. We good? Okay. The only problem is this part right here. Well, this entire thing is 10, right? Well, we can see that this part is 2 to match this, and then this part is 3 to match that. So 2 plus 3 is 5, which means from here to here is 5. Okay, that's 5. The thing is, we need to know what's this side like here. And if we look, though, this whole thing is 4, and this is 3, which means this is going to have to be 4 minus 3, or 1. So 1 times 5 is 5, which means 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus 12 is 25, so that'll be 25. Okay? This last one, ugh, what a jumbled mess this looks like, doesn't it? But let's start chopping again, all right? Go down here. This part is 12 by 2. That'll be 24. And let's chop some more. Boop. There we go. Um, okay. Well, it looks like this is going to be 8 times 5 for this part right here. And that'll be 40. So we'll add that to it. The only question is, what is this right here? What is this from here to here? Well, we kind of know how wide it is. It's 5. But we need to figure out how what the length of this thing is. Well, if we look, we go, okay, well, this is 4 right here. And this entire thing here from here to here is 8. That means this part right here also has to be 4. Because this 4 plus this 4 will equal that 8. So this is going to be 4 times 5. That'll be 20. So the whole thing is going to be 84. And there you go. Okay. And that's area. Okay, hope you had fun with that. See you guys next time. Do, do a good job on those practice problems today, okay? See ya.